In Tennessee, the race to fill outgoing Senator Bob Corker's seat is heating up. Former Governor Phil Bredesen, a Democrat, is running against Republican Congressman Marsha Blackburn. The winner is supposed to make history at the polls this November. This could be a campaign that changes the fate of our country. Democrat Phil Bredesen wants to be Tennessee's next senator. The last time a Democrat won a Senate seat in the state was 1990 with Al Gore. As mayor of Nashville, Bredesen opposed federal funding of abortion. The former governor has made no statement on the issue yet this year, but he has been endorsed by Planned Parenthood. Whether they're super conservative or super liberal or anywhere in between, they just they all say the same thing. Let's just move things. Let's get some things done. And um, that's very much the way I tried to operate as governor and very much what I want to bring, what I want to bring to Washington. His opponent, Republican Congressman Marsha Blackburn, would be the first woman elected to the Senate from Tennessee. And she believes her support for President Trump will put her ahead in the polls. We know that what Tennesseans say that they want to see in their next senator is somebody who is going to stand with President Trump to finish the agenda, finish the agenda that they voted for when they elected him and send him to Washington to drain the swamp. A fierce pro-life advocate, Blackburn led a 2016 House panel investigation into Planned Parenthood. I've worked directly with Marsha Blackburn. She's, uh, and I know her better, she is extremely skilled and articulate. She's prepared uh, to be uh, a senator. She has represented Tennessee extremely well. Join us now is Anna Giratelli, a reporter for the Washington Examiner with more analysis. Anna, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Wyatt. Representative Blackburn is a supporter of President Trump, and Trump has attacked the former governor, saying he's too liberal for Tennessee. So how much of a factor will President Trump be in this election? I think President Trump's opinion in this and his endorsement of Marsha Blackburn is going to be huge because in the 2016 election, 60 percent of Tennessee voters went to Trump, 35 percent went to Hillary Clinton. Uh, That's a pretty pretty big difference uh, in favor of President Trump. He hasn't been that loud yet for Marsha Blackburn. We still have three more months till the election. But I think his holding rallies in Tennessee, going there, um, even going out on Twitter and making some more commotion is, is going to help her because she is behind in the polls right now. Okay, so that's a big race we'll be watching in November. I want to turn to another issue that we've been covering, the trial that began this week for Paul Manafort, President Trump's former campaign chairman. Manafort's accused of tax evasion, bank fraud. Those charges are a result of Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. And President Trump earlier this week called on Attorney General Jeff Sessions to stop what he called a rigged witch hunt. How is all of this playing out in the public court? (laughs) There's a lot going on. So the trial just started this week in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, Paul Manafort is facing up to 300 years in jail time for these offenses. He's accused of not uh, reporting income overseas, which obviously a lot of federal offenses there. Um, But what this could be, you know, when it comes to the midterms is uh, Democrats are not saying the I word. They're not saying impeach Trump. Um, But they want to use this just as kind of starting to roll the ball and and say, look, Trump's campaign chairman is is probably guilty of all this. All of his other accomplices might be guilty of other stuff. Um, They're looking to take this, build momentum off it. And, you know, like we saw with James Comey, there might be an October surprise with the Mueller investigation. Let me follow up with you on that, because if the Mueller investigation continues through the midterm elections, do you think presidents, the president's harsh criticism will help or hurt other GOP candidates who are running for office? You know, I think that's something that re- Republicans have to be especially careful about right now, because if they lean too close to Trump, then they're affiliated with uh, policies. Democrats are not so focused on the uh, the the case going on right now, the legal case against Manafort, they're looking at other very uh, emotional topics. Mm -hmm. So things like abolish ICE, that's been a real rallying cry for them. They're not really focused on their agenda. And I think what the president needs to do is say, you know, what is Democrats plan forward? Focus on the economy and such things as that. And really stay away from reminding people, my friends are being investigated for stuff that happened two years ago, and we still don't know what's going to happen. Okay, well, we're, there's a lot to follow and a lot for us to, to uh, keep pace on for the next three months. Anna Giratelli, Republic, a reporter for the Washington Examiner, thanks so much. Thanks, Wyatt.